Hi everyone, Behringer have just released a new firmware update for the DeepMind 12 and it's firmware version 1.1.2 and it was released a few days ago on February the 26th, 2019 for those uh, in the future. Anyway, I just wanted to go through what these firmware updates features are and the fixes. Also, at the end of the video, if you want to watch a procedure uh, tutorial on how to actually do the update on your computer and on the actual hardware. Don't forget to go check that out at the end of the video. But let's get straight into checking out the new features. So let's just double check to make sure we've got the new firmware version 1.1.2. Beautiful, it's in there. Okay, so let's see if we can get a better. So this is just a, a basic patch. It's a single voice. Okay, so the first feature that they've added is a global transpose option. Okay, so if we go to the global keyboard settings page, so systems, the user can now set a key transpose setting that applies across all programs in addition to the existing per program transpose options found in the poly edit pitch parameter page. So this bit here is where you can adjust a global key transpose. So this is what each semitone. So you can basically tune your synth globally from here. That's gonna be very handy. Thanks for that, Behringer. The next feature is they've added a pitch bend mode or P bend mode selection with options to pitch bend all the notes, all, or only apply pitch bend values to the currently held notes held. When in held mode, any notes that are in the release phase of the envelope will keep its last known pitch until the voice is triggered again. Okay, so let's have a look at pitch bend mode. It's just below where we were. So you've got all and held. So if we pitch bend, let's just do. Okay, so that's doing it as it was before. Now let's try this. Let's give it a bit more of a release on the envelope here. Here we go. Interesting. So you're actually getting, so if I hold that note up, okay, let's, let's try it this way. If I hold this note up, if I pitch bend this note up, I'm going to then quickly release that and then make the release a bit longer. And then I'm going to push this one down. Okay. So let's go. super cool effect. So that means we can have basically polyphonic pitch bending. That is really, really cool. I I mean, tell me in the comments below if you know a synthesizer that can do that, because I don't think I've got one. All right, and uh, what else is there? I mean, they're the two big ones. Um, but they've also added a right page shortcut and wraparound control. So when you go into the right page, there's a whole bunch of shortcuts and wraparound controls. And the last one is Wi-Fi. So if we go to... Okay, and then we go to enable it. Okay, now it's enabled. Program overview page. There is a Wi Fi symbol there. I think that's it there. Right there. 
So let's go back and turn the Wi-Fi off. where the Wi-Fi symbol is. Cool, all right, now, the fixes. These I'll just read through, but basically there was a problem with fader control with pass-through. It would fail to pick up when both the fader and the parameter value was set to either zero or 255. So that's something that's a bit hard to show now that the firmware has been fixed, because I can't really go and revert back to the old one, but you'll just have to trust them that they fixed that. Look, I've never noticed that as a problem. So obviously some user somewhere in the world has picked that up, or maybe just the engineers themselves. So it's good that they've changed that. The one that I did notice is this one. They fixed an issue with the Unison 12 failing to operate in a true mono mode. Okay, so where you've got the Unison is here, okay? And this particular patch is set to poly, but let's change this to Unison 12, okay? And let's... That uh, pitch bend really affects the Unison 12 mode. So we might just quickly go back into our pitch bend mode and change that to all again, that'll fix that. And let's, yeah. So you be careful with that pitch bend, new pitch bend mode that will affect Unison. And you can see, um, where are we, let's get out of here. Okay, and you can see all the voices triggering here in Unison 12 mode. So is true mono mode. What is true mono mode? Yeah, so it's effect, it's it's behaving more like a mono synth now. And there's also some fixes to the update application, which uh, you can see that being used in the latter half of this video. When if you want to go and see how to update the uh, DeepMind 12 with the firmware, that will show you how to do it on a Windows computer. And the last bit is the updates to the iPad. So. Why don't we grab an iPad and have a quick look at that. All right, so in our iPad, we have got my synth applications, and then there's the DeepMind 12, and then uh, the new features are under under settings, and MISC, MISC is there, and then you've got the global transpose and the global pitch bend mode. We're gonna change that pitch bend mode from all to held. Okay, like that. And then here you'll see it's changing. Now I'm just gonna do it. You can just see the iPad on the side of the screen there and you'll be able to see me do it here. Change to all, change to held. So iPad app's working. All right guys, that is pretty much it. It's only a very small update, but it's a good one. And I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you next time there's another firmware update on the DeepMind. Don't forget, there's another section just after this bit where you can watch how the firmware update is performed on your PC. It's for Windows users. And uh, so stay tuned and watch that. And at the end, uh, I'll say catch you later.